Lots of stories to get through. And let's start with a first look at tomorrow's front pages. And here's the Daily Mail. Fascinating story. Take a look at this new Rwanda flight farce as Priti Patel faces appeals from all 31 migrants due on the first plane tomorrow. Will it even take off? Also, Prince Andrew asks for his royal status back and to be Grenadier Guards Colonel again. Good luck with that. <laughs> Next up, the Daily Telegraph. European judges to be stripped of protocol powers. Boris Johnson is expected to face fresh rebellion over a bill that opponents say would break international law. Also, a really sad story covered by several papers. A British former soldier killed fighting in Ukraine against Russian forces. Rwanda hits back at criticism of migrant scheme is the other story on the front page of The Telegraph. Next up, the independent Britain killed fighting Russia in Ukraine. The former British soldier Jordan Gatley tragically shot dead in the eastern Donbass region, according to his father. What a terrible loss, this guy, just in his mid-twenties. Tory rift over Johnson's plan to override the Northern Ireland Protocol. MPs warn move could prove as toxic with voters as the Iraq war. Let's head over to The Guardian now. Overriding Northern Irish deal will damage UK investment, warns the Confederation of British Industry. Boris Johnson's food plan is not a strategy, says his top advisor, Henry Dimbleby, the founder of the Leon restaurant chain. And uh, how about this in the front page of the Financial Times? Tories attack Johnson over bid to rip up Northern Ireland trade deal. There you go. The, the Tories heading there seemingly closer and closer to civil war following that vote of confidence in the prime minister earlier this week. Uh, the Daily Mirror now. Have we got that, Jake? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, free school meals scandal. One million kids to go hungry. Boris Johnson re rejects a plea to extend the scheme to all children living in poverty. More than a million children living in poverty will stay hungry as the prime minister today snubs a plea to extend free school meals. Of course, that's a story that was brought into sharp focus by the Manchester United footballer Marcus Rashford. The Times next, universities facing new China cash crackdown, a move to stop the UK's values being compromised from generous Chinese investment. Energy market reform will cut fuel bills, say the Times, and killed in battle, Jordan Gatley, a British army veteran, shot dead whilst fighting for Ukraine in the eastern Donbass region. Metro now. Brits killed on Ukraine front line, death of our hero. Again, covering that very, very sad story. And last but not least, the Daily Star. Heat wave, water alert. Drought of order, screamed the star. Record baker may be the hottest ever. It's going to be a scorching summer. But typically, those boffins now fear a drought, which means bye-bye hosepipe. And those are your front pages.